Welcome back to Cheung Fun Champions. Champions. <laughs> Today, we're gonna eat Cheung Fun like it's our job. That's Tell them right. what Cheung Fun is, Jeremy. Cheung Fun is rice noodle roll. It's circular. You can put whatever you want inside of it. There's like what? A, uh, pork, beef, shrimp, tasu, Cheung Fun. Everything. Why are we doing this? Because I love it. That's right. I eat it for a living. Three spots and tell you which ones we like. Three spots, maybe four. Subscribe, like, comment, share, everything. Mask on, shades on. In Chinatown, that way. Jeremy and I are on Mott Street. We see this amazing outdoor setup. New Shanghai Deluxe. Outdoor seating, table for two. Bring your next date here. We are on Hester Street, I believe, Hester and Mott. And we're walking to get a streetcar. There is Cheung Fun in Cantonese. It's called Cheung Fun. It's called rice noodles. In my opinion, that's probably the best street rice noodles in New York City. Chinatown is a lot more crowded and a lot more stores are open compared to uh, two weeks ago when we made our first video. Park is over there. I don't know if they're open. Do you see anybody in there? We got two two chunk two rolls. We're two people. Level. That's it, one for each of us. About to eat this chunk fun, the rice roll. She said there was everything in here. There's a sesame, there's veggies, shrimp. I'm not a fan of shrimp, but I'm gonna eat it anyway and see how it tastes. Okay. Chung Fun with Bean Slush. Eating it right here on the streets of Chinatown. Let's see. I think because I'm really hungry, so anything's gonna taste good right now. But so far, not bad. For uh, what was it, $1.25 for one roll? It tastes good without the soy sauce, too. The soy sauce is just like an additional flavor, but there's enough salt in there. You don't need soy sauce. Our first Chung Fun of the day from Hoan Bakery on Hester Street. Mm -hmm. Even though it's cold, good texture. It's almost like Italians would say al dente. You know about al dente, Jeremy? No, I don't. Like, it has a good mouth feel. It's not too mushy, it's not too hard. It's perfect. Like, on point. I think this would be a good snack. Good first stop. Yeah. Let's I go. think yours, yours had more pork than mine. That's not fair. I need to get a refund. Jeez. Bro, we can eat... Uh, a chai fang, you mean? What are you talking about? We want to eat... I heard you speaking Oh, Jiang Zhong Ren. 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 Oh, Jiang Zhong Any, any Asian area is not what people think. Right. Not what they see on TV. Can you call a woman? A woman. A woman. A woman. A woman. I know one Fuzhou word, but it's a bad word. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about they say fan man? I mean, you say fan man. I 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 say fan man. Okay. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Shout out to Fuzhou. Fuzhou. Yeah, yeah. Fuzhou, Fuzhou. Yeah. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye bye. So this is what we ordered, the Tony special. In Chinese, it's written up in Chum, meaning special Chum. Pork chicken and rice and garlic. They also sell a whole bunch of other appetizers as well. I just love Chum fun. I can eat it all day, every day. My favorite dim sum dish. And the one that they sell on the street is actually very similar to the ones here, which unfortunately we missed because they only open until about 1 p.m. They have these steamers and they have the rice flour solution. So it's gonna be rice flour, wheat starch, and tapioca starch. There's different recipes. They mix that up and then they put it in the long steamers. Add the toppings, or dried shrimp, galleons on top. You can add anything to it. it. Steams with it and then when it's ready, they just like give it a little flip. And then you have those, those rolls. You're gonna wait. It takes like five minutes to have to make it fresh. All right, let's wait. Mm -hmm. Rolling it right now. That's a trunk fun that just came out of it. using like a little scrape to make it into a roll. See, he just rolled it up and he's putting it in a dish. Very delicate. I made it one time with my papa, my Chinese grandmother, and it was kind of <laughs> show. So you gotta have some skill to some use skills. it. You gotta do it many times. Yep. 
repetition, man. That's with anything in life. Man, yo, yeah, I appreciate it. I've been living here my whole life. Oh, really? Life. It's good that people are doing that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Is this a family business? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So me and my wife, they say the store is named after my daughter, Tony. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's and your that's daughter. My daughter. Yeah, oh, that's my daughter. Oh, I see, name, I see. So. That's cool. Yeah, so we just try to make something for the community, really. It's just like old school eats, you know what I mean? Like, this is not like something like new, like something I created, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is something people used to eat. It, Guys, you know? you it was hard in the beginning when there was quarantine starting with all the corona stuff. It was a little hard for like the older people, like the senior citizens, which is mainly like 60-70% of my clientele. Oh. So like they usually come in here. I actually gave out discounts for the community. If you're over 65 years old, I'd give you like 25% off. also did it for like nurses. We did it for police officers at the time, you know? Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so we just try to do what we could. For just out. to see you guys do this stuff, like it, it seems like it's coming all full circle, you know what I'm saying? Definitely. So, yeah. We didn't grow up here in Chinatown, but it started here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Asian Americans in the U.S., we learned about like the history of all the hardships our parents went through. It doesn't through really stuff. matter where you're from. It's what you're about, you know what I mean? That's it. Like, it's That's it, about. man. Good yeah. luck to you, your business, and your family. I'm recording this whole thing, too, just because it's funny. Yeah, we're setting it we're up. We're setting up. Set up, Behind set the yourself scenes. up for success. We met Brian, the owner of Tony's Rice Roll, family guy, carrying a real traditional recipe, these Chen Fun rice rolls, really thin, Wong Dong style, a little bit thinner than you would find in the dim sum parlor. Yeah, recently they put up this outdoor seating, as you can see, right on Bayard Street, right? On Bayard Street 4, and it says it's for Tony's rice noodle outdoor seating right here. So and that's I guess Kumhing Coffee Shop collaboration with Tony's, the classic buns, now they sell them at Tony's. So it's like Could a be. match made in heaven. It's like Jeremy and Mike, game over. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we eat, we laugh, we talk to people, we eat food again, we come back. What else do you want? We Nothing. do it like it's our job. All right, Jeremy, sit over here. All right, like it's our job. So we're gonna start with some hand <laughs> I'm gonna eat it without any sauce, see how that tastes. Chicken, pork, and shrimp. Yeah. It tastes pretty good without the sauce. Are you a Filipino? Now, Okay. That guy did not look like a Filipino martial artist, but you never know. You, know? you never know. I could be one too. I'm gonna put the sauces on to make it more decorative, to make it look like the actual menu. So I'll start with soy sauce. This is soy sauce? Yeah. It smells like it. The chunk fun you usually eat in the morning time, right, Jeremy? Usually, so but I'm never awake in the morning. Not on my days off, at least. So that's why we missed uh, the, the chunk fun on the street. So this is how I put the sauce on the chung fun to make it look very decorative, just like the menu. Peanut butter, hoisin sauce, That's little right. soy sauce. Yeah. You put all the sauces. All the sauces. Many different types of chung fun. Beef chung fun, nao chung, right? Nao chung. Thin rice crepe with beef. They also have ha chung filled with shrimp. So shrimp rice roll, fried Chinese dough. Da leung. Da leung. Da leung, yeah. So that's like a nice crispy donut wrapped around this rice crepe. What I like about these places that just specialize in chung fun, they have different toppings and different sauces. Do you like it with all the sauce? Everything. Everything? All the sauces. The best sauce is the peanut sauce. Say peanuts really fast. Peanuts. 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 Peanut. Peanut. <laughs> it's nice eating outside in Chinatown. So this Cheng Fun place, famous Guangzhou rice noodles. I went to Guangzhou two years ago, and I'm really excited to try this place. It's called uh, Yinji Cheng Fun. Yeah, it's called Gum Gei Cheng Fun Beef. Honestly, I've eaten Cheng Fun my whole life, and I've never seen this many varieties of Cheng Fun. Okay, so this is a very classic Cantonese style like, restaurant. Like, so right behind me is this Museum of Chinese American that was actually on fire uh, two or three months ago. And as you can see, the whole road is blocked off now due to construction. <laughs> I just had to call them because we were waiting here for this whole time and I just realized that there's a sign here that says please call to place order. I guess that makes sense. So this is very socially distant. Very. Protocol. Very. You know what, Eagle restaurant right, is from Guangzhou, China. Right, right, right. Uh -huh. So this is a french fries. 
franchise. Yeah, yeah franchise store. Oh. So I bring it over from China to here. It's great that you bring this to New York. I'm it's good. Happy to hear that. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad Thank good, you. good luck, okay? So we're back at Jeremy's Hotel. They're a very well-known brand. They brought this over to New York. So we're about to try this out. This smells like beef. You can smell it, you right? You can smell it. It's beef. Right. It's, beef and scallions. Let's try this right there. See? This is without soy sauce. So we're going to add some soy sauce. People always ask me where all the food goes, right? And I just show them this. Yeah! I think she gave us more because, you know, I'm a VIP. Chinatown businesses, you know, they're in a tough time. Restaurant, every business right. is a tough time. We want to support them. Michael just put his soy sauce in his trunk. Fun. You gotta put the soy sauce. Soy sauce is light. So, yep. Good amount of soy sauce. Oh, beef is good. This one's good. This one melts in your mouth. Mm. So Jeremy, out of the three places that we went today, which one was your favorite? I would have to say I do like Tony Cheng Fun's the most, just because they have that peanut sauce. The peanut sauce really does it for me. As I was saying earlier, there was a street cart that sells Cheng Fun, and Tony's Cheng Fun tasted very similar to that. That's my preference. Actually, this is my favorite, third one, because it reminds me of when I went to Guangzhou, China two years ago, and I had Cheng Fun maybe three times in the span of four days, and this tastes just like it. And they're very generous with the beef, and there's a little bit of scallion in there, there's a little bit of lettuce. Overall, I think they were all great. And uh, next time, we're gonna go back to that street cart that cart, yep. sells chunk funds. If I wake up in time. <laughs> they close at noon, apparently. They're all relatively reasonable, and it's a good meal, it's a good snack, it's a good place to bring your friend. Chunk Fun Champions Chung out! Chunk Fun Champions! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, back to, to the Chunk Fun Champions! <laughs> Today, we're gonna eat Chunk Fun like it's our jobs. That's right. Tell them what uh, Chunk Fun is. Chunk Fun is... Oh, I, I, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, start over, start over. <laughs> Chung Fun, because we are Chung Fun Champions! <laughs> Sorry, there's no line right now, so let's get at it. They are my man, Chung Fun. Okay, it's Chung Fun. Pork, chick, uh, right. Okay. Chung Fun. No, yo, okay. Do you? Yeah. You got 